bumps in the road before we could leave um, Mount Pleasant, Utah. But we are, we were able to move on. We fixed almost everything. So we are almost to Bryce Canyon. Um, our plans are definitely changing because of the weather. We were supposed to be here for like five or six days. I think maybe we'll get two or three and then snow is supposed to come. So we're gonna try and head further south before winter starts. They're saying like six inches or more of snow over a course of 12 hours. So it's not just a little bit of snow. Any snow is too much snow for me. All right, so this is um, what, Highway 12. Yeah. The way in, we're gonna go find our boondocking spot. And by looking at the maps, it looks like we've got two arches that we're gonna have to drive through, two tunnels. Yeah, just, that should be fun. Just saw the sign. It said it's four miles ahead and that it's 11 6. And we're 11 3 ish. Hey, did so, you see that 11 sound? Sound? No, we're 11 3. Mom, it says 11, miles. 6. So, Brittany had to correct me. We're uh, 13 3, not 11 3. My bad. And the arch is 13 6. I don't know why I was saying 11. <laughs> Alright, we made it to our boondocking site um, by Bryce Canyon. It is on Forest Road 3626 off of Highway 12. So we are only 11 miles from the National Park entrance. So we found a spot. There's a good number of people out here. And we're doing dinner and picking our hikes for tomorrow to go explore Bryce Canyon. Okay, good morning. We're here at Bryce Canyon National Park. We are driving through right now and kind of deciding what lookouts we're going to stop at and what trails we're going to do today. Um, so, yeah. We had a rough morning. It was a rough morning. I forgot about that. We um, woke up to batteries were shut off. Um, it was 22 degrees or so. We had no heater. Um, okay, so we woke up with no heaters. It's very cold. Um, so Cody worked on rewiring the batteries and getting them jumped. And everything seems to be working good now. So we have four Battleborn batteries and I have them wired in 24 volts. So I basically have two banks of two batteries. For some reason, one from each bank is not picking up enough of a charge. I'm getting 14 to 15 volts out of one and like 11 and a half to 12 out of the other one. So two of the batteries are dying and then they get close enough to die and they just completely shut off. It's a safety thing with the battle one battery. So that's what happened this morning. So I can pull them apart and took the two that didn't want to charge properly and put them together and then put the other two back together and jumped them off with a battery charger and got them back going. So that took two hours this morning. And did all of that while it was cold. So okay. got that knocked out and we're- Got it all working, packed our lunches and got in the car um, to head out here. Um, didn't have any in internet, so we couldn't watch our tablets in the morning when it was not a school day. So that was not cool. <laughs> They still don't get the whole boondocking thing yet, so we're working on yes, it. Yes, I do. Where? Wow. Oh, wow. This is Rainbow Point. All the way at the very end, mile 18. First stop. He's way down there. Yeah. Can we, can we go right down there right now? No, we're going to hike. Alrighty, so we're here at Rainbow Point. We're doing our first little hike, Bristlecone Loop Trail. It's just a one mile loop that Corbin wanted to do. They were checking this out. Okay, so Bryce Canyon's Ranger program, they have these. Emblems here and it says I hike the 
Hoots. 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 There it is. Now we can see it. And that's what uh, you have to basically put a piece of paper over it and trace it. And that helps them get their badge. So that's kind of neat. Watch, they're going to go down in the canyon. Watch. Wait, the bird went over the grotto. Mm -hmm. Let's try yeah. collecting food for its family. Quite family, mm -hmm. it could have been. But it would have to live in the canyon.